to my setup uh, currently. I have um, bucket switch concentrator, and then the water goes into that uh, circular magnet just to smooth out the water, and then it runs down the miller table. And the miller table, uh, when gold travels down it, uh, the gold sticks to it. And then, if any gold that bucket switch moves, which it does a lot with fine gold, we'll get trapped here. My cell phone's broke, so I have to use my laptop to record. I just was to catch that because it was going all over the place. I'm all about the Lego sluice. Now it's got some uh, corrugated tube in different sizes. That's a, uh, known as the Henry Henry. I got this one because it's got really small riffles. And um, I figure if I'm going to fill it, yeah, I might be able to fill one of these with fine gold but not one of those. Oh, my Lego sluice box. <laughs> I've done the clean out yet, but I, I ran this thing uh, like that. Just really, and like full blast is really hard. All right, so the, uh, the end of this just fits right there. Oh, this thing's so heavy. It's packed. Water goes in and got to climb up. Now these, <laughs> I was able to get these uh, flipped the other way around because I made this piece. I just cut these off of uh, a square piece and then drill them out and then I can uh, uh, this is one piece is connecting these to these because it's got the these still right there but holes so I can snap it in and it just makes a it makes the water travel up and then the gold gets caught the gold doesn't like to go up so there's probably a lot of gold there and then any gold that does go up here it's gonna to slow it down because it's gonna be pressed right against here and I can look they're full. Even the uh, top ones. Oh, what's that? Now with with this, um, all the different features I have uh, will trap gold. But these indi every individual one of these, they work like uh, little uh, vortex sluice. Because like there'll be little vortexes even in these. And with the water pushing as hard as I was, it creates like a uh, low pressure zone. So you see this water skimming over it, and it's just um, I can pack them. And leave it for an hour and it's still you know swirling stuff around there I, I catch flat gold flakes with this thing well just the one I've only ever used one before so uh, I ran this I ran it hard at like a 60 degree pitch as far as I could you know like that uh, gold hog docket gold hog how he just runs it hard to see what it'll do um, all right, so the gold, the material comes up, it goes over here, and then, uh, there's like a, a sink. <laughs> it just, the, everything goes down there, and, uh, it kind of connects. It's kind of like, um, two different level, and, uh, it's kind of like a fluid bed under here. And a lot of material travel, and there's another, like a double drop riffle, and, uh, then, you got a bunch of these. Uh, there's just layers so like by the time it gets to here it's like a fluid bed and uh, when the water comes across a lot of the heaviest stuff will fall there and then it'll jet across and then splits the water and then uh, uh, it ends up making two swirls so these become uh, like vortex solutions 
Um, and the water shoots back up and then it hits here, which increases the pressure and then it fans out again. And what that does is when you got a, uh, look how tall this is. Put it flat. All right, so it's going up, you know, it uh, widens out, but it's, it's in the vortex and then it tightens and it's all tall. So when you have a, a deep river, like a, like a creek, deep creek, that's on narrow, it's going to have a high water pressure. And then I narrow it even more, and then I open it up and just let it drop. So when it goes from a, a tight creek to, like, you know, a wide, shallow area, the pressure just drops and gold loves to just drop out. So, I mean, anything I don't catch here, you know, <laughs> and uh, then it splits it up and it all falls back in and, you know, so, yeah. But all these are really, each individual one is really effective. I ran just the one Lego uh, and on that. And I ran like a quarter bucket. I checked that whole thing. There was um, no gold at all. But the one Lego that I had at the very top of it, because uh, material went through the Lego first, it had all the gold. And it had round, or it had flat gold flakes in there. Even had flat flakes of... Uh, uh, silver, copper, and pyrite. So if it's if, if I could trap a something as light as a copper flake, you know your gold's good. Uh, I'll let you know how my cleanup turns out. I didn't run a lot, but I ran some really good materials, so I expect I'm good. Thanks. Uh, in case I, I probably put this on YouTube, so walk, like, click, whatever. I don't know what they say. It's my first video. Gotta turn it off. There it is.